Welcome back to Throat Ripper. Now, we <laughs> took the test of strength against another friendly ogre, and it did not go well. We found out that uh, we're not very strong, basically, we're on the level of a kind of a weedy Nancy, Nancy boy who cries as soon as someone looks aggressively at him. Um, so we need to try that again, try and build up our rep a bit more, and actually maybe take the healing spirits that I didn't take last time. Uh, so... <laughs> Yeah, I'm just kind of sheepishly... Actually, there's no point max lifing it up, because we're probably not going to reach our actual max life anyway, so you can quietly go back, and I quietly think about the healing spirits that I should have had in the first place. Uh... <laughs> anyway. I think it, we've still got Colbjorn. It's a shame, because I want to try out the, uh, the soldier, but she retries precision, and I believe this one... <laughs> there be dice! Uh, so we need our boy Colby on, but let's give it another go. Please tell me I don't have to do that ogre's voice again. Oh god. I'm gonna have to do the ogre's voice again. Yep. We haven't even got anything to say, because you know we've danced this one already. This last century has been, for me, Ouchies. a blessed relief. You have really? pulled me away from eternity. And in the process, I have lost something fundamental. Hey, I got on your cart, mate. Yeah, we're uh, yeah we're being smacked around. Ask where we are. Uh, yeah. Oh, where have you been? Blah blah blah. I'm not not doing this again. Yeah, we get the general of it. This is your swamp, and we should get out of your swamp and give you back your thing. It will eat my eyes. It's quite good on toast, as, uh, as Shrek says. The ogre lifts his club and smashes a tree trunk in anger. He's got anger problems. And Drachnar, the ogre, turns and disappears back into the mist. Well, he can fucking stay there. And it turns to mash in my mouth. Yeah. Mmm, mash bread. The sinking realization, yeah. Well, I'm definitely sinking down to somewhere. Stab of hunger. Must, yeah. Closest town is Drapier. We cannot hope to defeat an ogre now. Okay, let's camp it on, like, on the ogre's house, basically. He'll never find us here. It's the last place we'll look. Spindly hag. Yeah. Hello. Here's an artifact. So it's ten life. Thank you. I might as well use it again. <laughs> Hopefully you can refill this sucker. And then we'll keep the other one for when we're in actual um, combat, in case we need it. We're going to have to learn to block. That's going to be our main problem. This thing is, my record in that area has not exactly been stellar. But, you know, there's always time to turn things around. Another day of rainfall, the marshlands swell into a swamp. Water and mud obscure the path ahead. As you press on, every direction begins to look the same. Oh, we're already on the dice. Back to the bones. I hope you have learned to be their master. I would have hoped you learned to say something else by now, but apparently not. Oof. Might as well call beyond. He'll be out of action, but eh. Well done. I can't really afford to lose anything to at the moment. Hey, if I can still have Colby on swinging in there with a the save, but we'll ignore him. You just keep giving that praise. Oh, I love that praise so much. With some luck, you find your way to higher and dry ground. Back on the path and continue your journey. Thank God for that. Alchemy oh, is this one of the motherfucker, is it? That says little for its practitioners, however. Countless jars and obscure artifacts clutter the room. On a central workbench, a peculiar glass beaker simmers over a flame. Ah, I see you found my laboratory then! A voice exclaims. From behind a pile of dusty books, a robed figure emerges, clad in a pointy hat and a pair of thick spectacles. He smiles. Here to create the elusive elixir of life? Or perhaps it is gold you desire? All is possible through alchemy. Can you heal me? Do you have any small blue pills? I'll just, I'll whisper that to you so Colby on can't hear that. Do you have any small blue pills? Alas, I have yet to prove that such things are indeed possible. He explains, no matter. Would you care to help me with my experiment? Yeah, I'm sure this won't go hideously, hideously wrong. Very well, let's begin. Take a jar and place its contents in the beaker. He says he dips his quiller in inkwell and prepares to write. Remember, you must keep the elixir pure. Uh, I'm not oh. 
a vain man. Okay, so we're trying to get it. You must appreciate that the game. Yes, we know. Game You've been obsessed been over the game. For more years than I can count. So I assume we only I want one color. Pride regarding its twists and turns. Okay, and that color is yellow. The jar contains a collection of yellow beetles. You place one in the beaker and it dissolves instantly. The clear liquid gains the faintest tint of yellow. Excellent! The alchemist says he scores feverishly in his ledger. Now, pick another. Yeah, we want another yellow. Oh, just missed it. Well, maybe we'll keep it pure to be beetles. That's technically pure. The jar contains dried red beetles. You sprinkle a handful into the beaker and they dissolve instantly, tinting the elixir a dull orange. Most interesting, the alchemist remarks as he continues to write in the ledger. Now, pick one more. Where's the other beetles? It's up there. Let's wait until it's right at the top. Oh, no. Oh, fuck that up. <laughs> oh, we didn't keep that pure at all. That's going to explode, isn't it? Liquid remains unchanged. And that might have been a few too many beetles, perhaps, says the alchemist, looking at the orange mixture through thick spectacles. He frowns. No, 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 this just won't do. The elixir is spoiled. The alchemist turns to his notes and starts scribbling strange symbols on the page. Whatever could be the cause, he continues. Yes, definitely too much beetles, or not enough mushrooms. As the alchemist continues to mutter himself, he decides to leave him to his work and back out without breaking eye contact. Because he yeah, gets creepy as fuck. I have a feeling that's probably back to the next place, but let's try and see. It is not. It is not. You row through the mire slows your day's journey. To avoid the swelling bogs, you press onto high ground and happen upon an old road through the marshland. To the left, you see a group of cloaked thieves blocking the road. Okay. And to the right is the raiders, I assume. Yep. Oh, that's a shaman. Hmm. Don't really want to fight a shaman. Oh, okay. You got clowns to the left of me and jokers to the right. And I'm stuck in the middle of the, the, the whatever the first one say, clowns. The bad thieves, because they ain't fighting shaman. That's a boss fight. No thanks. Uh, let's see, do I have any sexy things to equip? No. I've just got the bare bones stuff. Well, we'll do sword and board against the bandits. Light weapons are recommended, but I'm not using them, because. You get a better block. You get the repost with the uh, shield, and why would you not want that? Besides, these are only just basic thugs, anyway. I'll make short work of these buggers. Come on, then, lads. Who wants to go on the end of my sword? You do. Oh, ow. Lucky. There we go. Haha. <laughs> Reposted. You ain't shit. Oh, where do you think you're going, lad? And you can get that up your arse. Or your front, your front arse. Your frass. <laughs> I had a feeling I was going to fluff that. Okay. <laughs> Blocks you before you even swung. That's just how good I am. Okay, I did take a hit then. Which I was hoping to avoid, but... Oh, uh, well... Reach out to cut the rope holding the spoils. Oh, I have to roll to cut the bloody... Ugh. There's always one that's snake eyes, isn't there? Always one that has to be a bloody problem. Ugh. Disappointed. Yeah. That was a waste of time. Oh, well. Push forward towards your final confrontation. We should probably explore everything. The game often offers you a choice. Sometimes what? they are both poor choices, however. Nice. While roaming the dark alleyways of the capital, you see a suspicious group travelling your direction. Fight, oh dear. They are dragging a locked chest behind them, its contents unknown. In another direction, you spy an item glinting in the moonlight. A ring of food. I do not need food right now. I have a number of shadowy forms lurking in the alleyway nearby. Visible enemies, I think. They drop their cargo and draw their blades, saying... Slanders said no witnesses. These are very, you know, kind of eloquent skulls there. Aren't they skeletons? Right, the, the, the vocal cords have had a bit of a... They mostly just kind of scream. <laughs> but you shouldn't be too much trouble. 
couple of skeletons. Uh, I just kick them and they fall over. Well, as Corbion's probably got a blade for each one at this point. Hey, hey guys. Oh, that scream. <laughs> Right in the, well you don't really have a stomach, right in the where the stomach should be. Ugh. You thought you could sneak up on me, didn't you? Well, you can't. How about you? There we go. Nice and easy. Just gotta get that chest open now. Yeah, Colby on the dead. The dead boy. You can chill. The custodian's defeated, you break open the locked chest. He noticed a secret compartment in the bottom of the chest. Okay, well, we got a life back, so I'm happy with that anyway. Ugh. Seriously? God's sake, my die rolls have been terrible. But we got the secret compartment open at least. Equipment. Ooh, the Mask of Nothing Holy Fortune. Like carrying an aura of purity unearned to give the game away. The fuck is that supposed to mean? You chatting shit. I think you're chatting shit. Uh, when skeletons reanimate, they drain life from enemies around them. That's useful. One fader card glows red during the shuffle. That is also useful. Can't quite wear it yet, but soon we will. Alright, now we've got everything. Now we can just head on the King's Road. Onto the road to Drapier. Too many words obscure the actual truth of the matter. Sometimes simple actions tell all. Approaching Draper's gates, you notice a woman of enormous stature dressed in her blue tunic and leather apron. Three smithing hammers hang from her waist. Damn, I want you on my side. <laughs> woman rushes forward and embraces you, burying you in her chest. The gods be praised, she cries. I thought you'd surely be dead. She releases you and looks you up and down. Look at you, she says before you can get a word in. That foul beast didn't hold back now, did it? She whips around to face your companion. Golbion, she bellows. I thought I told you to keep him out of trouble. I warned you about Drachnar and look what happened. You should know better than to steal from an ogre. Golbion wanders past the fuming river and down to the river to fish in peace. Alright, mate. Bye. I guess. She, As she pauses for breath, you seize your chance to interrupt. Uh, sorry, who are you? I'm Ariadne, the blacksmith's daughter. She says, surprised. I don't know why I have this accent. I just do. We met at the Black Ale pub the night before you set off to steal Adesia's charm. Almost brought your arm wrestling, remember? Oh, that's why my wrist is snapped in two. Oh, I did wonder about that. She pokes at the broken ornament gingerly. Forgive me if I don't take it. The curse of Adesia's charm only affects the wielder. If it makes you feel any better, the ogre is probably starving now too. From the looks of its silver work, there's an old relic indeed. Draknar, she says, or Draknar the Mighty, as he's known. <laughs> I really don't know where this accent is coming from. Has lived in these parts for an age. Many have tried to fill the beast before you two misfits, that's for sure, she explains, but few live to tell their tale. The ogre is notorious for amb ambushing travellers and traders alike. Not even Empire soldiers are safe in these parts. Accumulated a wealth of treasures plucked from his victims, including that cursed relic you have now. Alright, cheers. I actually kind of like you, can you come with? You're kind of cool. Ariadne shakes her head. One blow from Drachnar's club will crush you. You won't survive it until you get a good set of armor on you. Increase your defense in order to survive the ogre. Listen, I help run a traveling forge. It's currently heading here. Okay. You're heading to the King's Road. Come see us. We'll sort you out with some good and proper armor. The piece of Adesia's charm weighs heavy in your pack. You wish to fling it into the mire, but some strange magic stays your hand. Yeah, the magic of sense. Starving and injured, you rest a while in town. Okay. Even though I didn't. Here's a token for you, if you can earn it. Mm. As you approach the building, flames are building up. Yeah, we know this one. Sorry, but I can't afford to lose health in this one. You ignore the women's pleas and continue on your journey. Yeah, I'm a dick. Sorry, kind of have to be. Life's at stake. It oh, is you not again. too late to plan better. Yep, I'll come back. Come back soon. He causes you to pursue your quest. Yep, I'll be back. What's this way? It is. Oh dear. Five of greed. You've been ambushed. So I have. You've got to feel sorry for them. Oh, 
Come on then, lads. He wants a slice of this sharp pie then. Oh, time to meet the Reaper. Nice one. You really didn't, you know, choreograph that one extremely obviously or anything. Oh, uh, nice one. Oh, Colby, I thought you were one of them. But you are just going crazy over there. That's why I hired you, I guess. I'm not, I don't actually pay you, but... Are you dead? No. You can just go buck wild on them over there. My friendly boy. Stop twiddling. This isn't a fucking gymnastics class. Now we're going to double team you. There we go. <laughs> I didn't lose a thing. Hopefully we'll get the spoils. This time we're having to cut them free or whatever the fuck. To fame. Yep. Search the area for supplies. Yeah, we do. We do need it. However, unfortunately, that is. So oh, here we go again. What are my choices? Uh, next, steel monster card. Five of steel. Okay, that's not too bad. And or four of frost. Well, the raiders hit harder, but the empire seems to take longer to die, and there's less of the raiders. So we're going raiders. I'm gonna go Colby on with us. He's a good lad. I do like me some Colbjorn. I do agree with uh, the blacksmith Ariadne that we need to get our defense up because we are taking a pounding from literally every direction. All right, I'll go to the right, Colbjorn. Oh God! Oh, okay, good. I'm glad to see that. Ah, oh! <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> Nice of you not to hit any of the stunned ones, though it would have been really useful, but... Oh, well. <laughs> nice try, lad. Go on, Colby on. No. <laughs> oh, I love killing them on the repost. Just kind of a gentle poke, and they're dead. Okay, so I took a hit on that one. Boy, they hit harder than I was expecting, but... It's better than having a punch through shields or whatever I would have had to do with the Empire. We got a token. A reward well earned. Well, I think that's the first time we got a token off a piece of equipment. I'm looking forward to seeing what we get out of that. But the Raiders defeated, you know some equipment. Okay, here we go again with my stellar dice rolls. See, there's always a, there's always a one. There is always a one. Literally anything but one. Thank you. I want them supplies, yo. Thieves folly. Okay, well, I don't know if we're getting goblins, but oh well. We've mapped out everything, so let's jaunt on back to the cartographer. Eight gold, not much, but what can you do? Spend several hours in his company until it's satisfied, nothing else useful to add. Cool, we've already got your token. It's just a bit of free cash, basically. Right. Continue on. Ariadne, give me some armor, yo. Perhaps you can there get the tools you need for the road ahead. The column of smoke and the clang of metal are the first signs you're in the right place. As you round the bend, you see the forge outside the gates to Blackwater. You spy your new acquaintance Ariadne, assisting a blacksmith on the bellows. Ah, there you are, Ariadne says with a smile. She removes her gloves to wipe her brow. These are the duo I was telling you about. Anders, she says to the blacksmith. When we're broke, this one's whist in an arm wrestle. So we're here, you're out to fight an ogre. I, everyone sounds like Ariadne in my head now. The blacksmith says, my specialty is improving armor and helms and the like. I must admit it. It's normally only your shoes and farming equipment I mean these days, so it might take a while. I assure you, it'll be well worth your time. Let's upgrade the shield. Things we use that a lot. You hand the smith your old worn shield. This thing is more bottled than shield. It's not even worth fixing, he says with a frown. I'll tell you what, take this one on the house. Oh, good lad, thank you. It's a bit more defence. You know, with a little work, that shield could come up nice. Yes, I can certainly improve this, but it will take several days. I'm heading to Cottonmore. Meet me there and the job will be done. Oh, bring another item to me there. I'll see if I can improve that one as well. Alright, cool. Does that mean I've lost my shield? Uh, have we got any equipment you can buy in here? I was expecting to have to pay for that, so. Oof, traitor's edge. Grenades. Not big on, not big on the grenades, to be honest. Yeah, we've still got a wooden shield, so. I thought we were going to give away our only shield then. Um, but we will hopefully get that upgraded into something a bit more sexy next time on Hand of Fate 2. So thank you so much for watching. If you like my content, please do check out my other videos. If you do, I shall see you there. 
goodbye.